This is me, RC, and I'm Dave. And I'm John. And we got some new merch. Yeah, me, RC. It came from an outfit called CBI. It's not California Bureau of Investigation, though. It's actually some kind of computer graphics design mm -hmm. company. And they make hats and t-shirts. So we got that stuff. And we're also going to be building this plane and testing it. It's the HK Glue and Go F4 Jet. So we'll be working on that. We'll just get in here. Oh. Ah! oh. I think I just lost something. I there think that right was there. the lube. Oh, I lost my lube. I hate when that happens. Okay, I'll go over there and get it. Roly poly lube. Yeah, it was just the silicone uh, chain lube like you use on a bicycle. That's all it was. It wasn't even RC related, so no problem. Yes, gentlemen, it was all about the thrust angle. <laughs> okay, so let's get into building this jet. Hobby King Glue and Go Jets. This is the uh, Blue Angels F4 version. Here's my jet, sitting over here drawing some various glues using CA, using fabric tack. This foam doesn't seem to be too sensitive to uh, the non-foam safe glue, so it seems to be okay. So this foam is very flexible. It'll bend right around without breaking. It's some very unusual stuff. It's not Depron, although it somewhat feels like Depron, but it's not. I don't know what it is really. Have to ask Hobby King. So here's what the box looks like. You can find it on the Hobby King site if you want to get it. It doesn't show where the prop goes, but it actually goes on the back. Here's the motor mount that fits right on the back, and then the prop screws onto there. Or I should say the motor with the prop screws onto there. So for the motor and prop and ESC, I've got these components. I'm actually using the Emax MT1806 2280KV motor right here. These are mini quad parts. You can even get these as a set of four. You can get them with either a reverse or a regular spin on these motors. And I'm going to be using the BL Heli ESC and it's a 12 amp I believe. Again mini quad parts. And the prop is a 5045 bullnose prop. You can pick these up just about anywhere. John's gluing on the canopy now. Getting that ready. I'm trying to anyway. <laughs> The words in the manual are very sparse, but they do give you some idea on how to put it together. This manual is online, on Hobby King, under the description of the product. Test fitting and then help it align. Just making a line. Align what you got gluing there. That is snug fit on this. Very snug puppy. fit on that motor mount. Yeah. You'll notice I've actually got my wing upside down with the writing on top and the spars right here. Whereas John has his according to the directions with the writing on the bottom and the spars on the bottom. Now the tail section. So I found the CG is right behind this curved spar right here. I put a mark on the plane right underneath the body right here. There it is. So this jet may be kind of underpowered. We don't know. It didn't seem like it had a lot of thrust. It didn't really pull it out of my hand, but Maybe it's enough to fly it. I don't know. We'll give it a try. I don't see any golfers. Here it goes. I'll step away from him. Alright, here we go. That doesn't look good. You just push the battery back down. I did crumple the nose. But you only get one one chance with these golfers. I'm gonna try it again. Is it acting tail heavy or something? I needed that much power if I was wrong. Hmm. It's not trimmed out at all. Uh oh, we're coming. Land it. Keep 
give me a nice landing here. There it is. The nose isn't crushed too bad. Looks okay. That foam kind of springs back in action. It seemed like it had enough power though. Yeah, it did. Okay, so let's check the afterflight voltage on the battery just to see how much the plane sucked. We could probably have flown it again. At least got one more flight out of it. I noticed that the plane was continually trying to go to the left. And the reason for that, I think, is torque roll. Since the prop has to turn this way, the plane tends to want to lean the other way and go to the left. So what I've done is added a little bit of right aileron to it. So this, this flap or this aileron is up and the other one's down just a smidge to counteract that. I also felt like it just ballooned too much on takeoff so I'm going to give it a little bit of down elevator. Also the, uh, the 1500 milliamp hour 3 cell uh, works really good and you can fly it quite a long time on it but I felt like maybe there wasn't enough weight so what I'm going to do is put a camera mount right up in here. I'm going to velcro on an HD camera right there for this next flight and that'll give it a little more weight so maybe with a little more weight, elevator adjustment and aileron adjustment we can get it to fly better so let's give it a try Cut the throttle down. Especially oh. coming from that way up a minute ago. All right, you rolling, John? I'm rolling. All right. Oh, cut the throttle down. Ah, oh. see, that's what happened at the golf course, and Try three quarters throttle. too late, it busted it. Done for yeah, without glue, we can't fix it. So we tried everything, more weight in the front and different angles for the uh, elevator. That's actually not right. I just had it up in the air. And uh, it still just wanted to go up in the air. So the next test is, yeah, the next test is angling the motor down some and hoping the thrust angle aiming down will help correct any uh, ballooning. So we're trying to get rid of the ballooning by thrust angle down and see what happens. Da, 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 da. Let's go up that way. Oh, I heard a swing. Yeah, they're already doing it. Are you ready? You rolling? I'm rolling. All right. Yeah, we were out on the golf course and it was perfect. It worked. That was it. Oh, oh. Make a long turn and bring it in. There it is. Yes. Yes, gentlemen, it was all about the thrust angle. Just keep that in mind. For your life skills. So we got in between the golfers and there was a lot of things going on but we had a ball anyway. <laughs> <laughs>